Hey y'all, it's Katrina with Happy Healing. Today I'm going to show y'all some AIP um, diet foods that are accepted and not accepted. So for the AIP diet, let me turn off the flash here, you can have several um, greens like arugula, asparagus, carrots, cucumber, leek. Leek seems to be the only nightshade you can really have. You actually cannot have um, eggplant, which is surprising because eggplant is actually low in nickel and other kind of like toxic bad minerals. So I was surprised that eggplant is a no-go, but leeks are a go as far as nightshades go. Um, mushrooms you can have, spinach, squash, sweet potatoes, artichokes, Beets are good for liver detox, bok choy, chard. Kale is really good. It's also good for bearded dragons. Um, fennel. Onions are okay if you pulse test it um, and it passes the test. I can do a video on pulse testing, the cocoa pulse test. If anyone is interested, please comment below. Um, the parsnips are good. You can also make these into chips or you can buy the parsnip exotic chips at the store. Just be careful what oil they choose. Some oils can offend people's GI system such as like the sunflower oil, safflower oils, canola and cottonseed oils which most chips are used um, are cooked with. Some chips choose palm oil, but I'm not sure if that really offends other people as well. I feel like me personally, most processed things that um, no matter what oil, it just bothers me. Um, zucchini is also good. You can make zucchini noodles with them. Um, sweet potatoes, you can make sweet potato hash. Um, you just shred the sweet potato. As far as, um, let's see. I was going to mention you could do squash noodles. Um, for the mushrooms here, you can also do adaptogen mushrooms, like the little tinctures and stuff, and I usually use that as a sauce. Um, if you're interested, check out some more of my videos. I make the sweet potato hash, and I show you some mushroom um, tinctures that I use for adaptogen herbs to help the digestion. Alright, so for fruits, you want to limit yourself to two fruits a day. So apples, avocados, avocados is a fruit because it does have a seed in it. Bananas, berries, coconut, you want to cocoa pulse the coconut as well because some CBD that has coconut and other things that have coconut do offend the GI system of some people. Figs, grapes, kiwis, mangoes, melons, peach, dates, watermelon, apricots, cherries, which are also good for PMSing if you do tart um, cherry juice that really helps it really helps the flow and it doesn't like have as much blockages and cramping and stuff um, I love that tip that my functional nutritional therapist gave me um, citrus is good lemon juice like lemon water and stuff is really good for you throughout the day it helps detox but for some people it would help them detox and lose weight for me think thankfully it didn't make me detox and lose weight any more than I already am um, pear, permissum, persimmons, um, plum, and pomegranates. Um, pineapple was also on the list. However, I'm thinking of the Unbound um, AIP list, by the way, unboundwellness.com. They do mention pineapple, but my functional nutritional therapist said that pineapples are too sugary. It's up to you how you do this diet, but um, it is really best to just stay away from sugar since a lot of bad bacteria feed off of sugar. All right, so for proteins, I'm gonna turn this a little bit. We got duck, chicken, fish, venison, turkey, salmon, and mahi-mahi. These are good options. For our oils, you can do duck fat, chicken fat, coconut oil, olive oil, palm oil, avocado oil. You wanna make sure that they are cold pressed and unrefined, not cooked with chemicals. You don't want to have grapeseed oil, sunflower oil, safflower oil, cottonseed oil, and canola oil. Ghee is questionable because it does have, most ghees will have, um, it's made from either milk or uh, grass-fed um, cows, so you just want to be careful, even if it is some form of organic or grass-fed. Um, most people want to try to do, you know, on this list, no dairy, no gluten, no grains, no beans, no nightshades, nuts, seeds, spices, alcohol, eggs, additives, sugar, corn, corn syrup, rice, white potatoes, etc. 
So Guy does fall into that. It's up to you how serious you want to take these um, protocols. So for flowers, um, cassava is a root, so it will have a lot more nickel in it potentially. Um, cassava flower, arrowroot starch, which is basically a flower. Um, carob powder is just like a cocoa kind of alternative. You cannot have cocoa or beans on this diet, so that's what you can do. Um, coconut flour, tapioca starch, which is basically a flour, tiger nut flour, almond flour, um, and what I like to do, I notice that it's really hard to cook with coconut flour and almond flour, so if you mix them with tapioca flour, um, it really helps the texture combine really well. Um, otherwise, there, it's just coconut flour and almond flour just falls apart for me. Um, you can also have apple cider vinegar and honey. Um, Apple cider vinegar is a good option to have with lemon before, like 30 minutes before a meal, unless you're taking HCL for digestion purposes. Um, honey you can have in moderation. Uh, mainly Manuka honey is best um, as it has probiotics in it. Um, if you also have any fissures or things of that nature, um, abscesses, you can also apply this onto it. Um, all right. I think that's about it. If you guys have any questions, please comment below. And I'd love to see what kind of things y'all like me to um, record in the future. Any recipes, informational videos. Anyway, happy healing. Bye.